Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels and today we're in Stockholm, Sweden and we're going to visit one of the most popular tourist attractions here, the Vasa Museum. The museum is dedicated to showcasing the Vasa ship, which is the only preserved 17th century ship in the whole world. As soon as we enter the museum, we're immediately impressed by the sheer size of this ship. It's huge. It's housed in a specialty built building, which is just as impressive as the ship itself. The museum is very well organized and there are many displays and exhibits that provide a lot of information about the ship and the history. So just a brief history of the Vasa ship to give you an idea of what you're going to come see. It was commissioned by the King of Sweden in the early 1600s and was meant to be a symbol of the country's military might. The ship was built over several years and eventually launched in 1628. Unfortunately, the ship sank on its maiden voyage due to design flaws and too much weight on the upper deck. The Vasa ship lay on the bottom of the sea for over 300 years before it was finally discovered in the 1950s. It was a massive undertaking to recover the ship and it took several years of careful planning and work to bring it to the surface. After it was brought to the surface, a massive preservation effort was undertaken to ensure that the ship would not deteriorate any further. The museum has so many exhibits and displays that provide a lot of information about the ship and its history. There are interactive displays that allow visitors to learn more about the construction of the ship, as well as displays that show what life was like on board, which are really cool. There are also many artifacts that have been recovered from the ship, including weapons, clothing, and personal items that belong to the crew. Here you can see part of the sail that has been preserved as well as rope. It's crazy to think that it was recovered after being in the water for over 300 years. You can explore this multi-level exhibit using an audio guide. You simply download it on your own device and take all the time you need to explore. This audio guide is available in 18 languages and some languages even have a children's version. There's a guided tour in English every day included in the price of admission. They last for about 25 minutes and they run every half hour starting at 10.30 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. The museum is open year round from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and until 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. The museum does not take cash, but you can buy tickets at the entrance or online using a credit card. What we did was we bought the Go City Pass for Stockholm and I'll add a link below for that. The admission is included with that pass. From October to April, if you're buying tickets at the entrance, you can expect to pay 170 Swedish crowns or about 16 US dollars. And if you're under 18, you'll get in free. So from May to September, you can expect to pay 190 Swedish crowns or about 18 US dollars. Be sure to stop and take a break for Fika at the Vasa Museum restaurant. I highly recommend the shrimp sandwich and the canel bulle, which is a cinnamon bun. And on your way out, be sure to check out the museum shop. They had some beautiful things there. So overall, the Vasa Museum, I feel, is a must-visit attraction in Stockholm. Just the sheer size and history of the Vasa ship is truly impressive. And the museum does an excellent job of showcasing it. If you're planning a trip to Stockholm, be sure to add the Vasa Museum to your itinerary. I have several videos on Sweden you may want to check out, including what souvenirs to bring home. I'll link that right here at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Tina Girl Travels.